Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my review of the Lego Star Wars 5245249. Look at the number right there before I say this. Uh, Resistance Y Wing Starfighter, a set based on Episode 9, which is, you know, one of the not great episodes of Star Wars. This is a set that I kind of slept on, I barely knew it existed. Um, but now that I own it, I kind of regret that because this is uh, a better product than the film itself. So uh, let's review it. Let's just review it and ignore my opinions on Disney Star Wars. What do you guys say? Uh, so we're going to go over the minifigures first. First up, we have Poe Dameron. Looking pretty good. He has this um, very nice little satchel on his side, kind of reminiscent of the Indiana Jones figures. He has this silver... Uh, matte printed guns, a little pistol. Uh, I like the little face print. I like the hair print. I've always liked Poe Dameron's design as a character, and getting many figures of him is always a treat. He is one of the better characters from the sequel trilogy, and I appreciate him. We also have this single piece here meant to represent D.O. from the film. I want this to focus on the print. Please focus on the print. Thank you, maybe? It's not working. <laughs> One sec. Let me reload. Let me reset the camera here. There we go. Uh, quite a nice little figure. Uh, is that going to work? Pretend you can see the print. There we go. Now it works. Uh, it's a single piece. I'm very glad it's a single piece because it actually works a lot better as a result. Yeah, this looks great. The prints are nice. It is in the same realm as R2-D2 figures. I always really enjoy it. It's always nice to get one. Um, I, I like it. I like droids. What can I say? And then the last character we have here with a name is Zori Bliss with two sort of blunderbuss looking guns. These are clearly ripped from the pirates theme, um, but treated as Star Wars guns, which is a little, you know, crazy to me. Um, although I do like her design quite a bit. Getting this camera to focus is not easy, by the way. Uh, I like her helmet. It's printed in this gold color, and then her armor is using the, uh, dark red, the burgundy, with gold printing on top of it for all of her belts and things. And then if you take her helmet off, which actually, this helmet, the shape of it makes it real easy to take off. There's actually no face print underneath. It is just a solid black head. I can't get the helmet off, actually. There we go. There is just a solid black head underneath. Uh, no distinguishing features on her. Uh, but pretty good figure regardless. I, I think a lot of people were complaining about her, saying it's kind of simple, saying she's kind of a forgettable character. I, I actually like this one a lot. Uh, I don't like that she has these sort of wonky-looking guns, and I don't like that she doesn't fit in the cockpit because of these guns, because even the box art implies she's supposed to be the driver of this ship. But... As a figure you can play with, it works pretty well. It just needs a storage unit for the guns. Um, next up, we have a First Order Snow Trooper, which is, I don't know if this is a unique figure, but I always enjoy getting characters like this. I always enjoy troopers. I always enjoy looking at the different helmet designs, the different armor designs. We have this nice white cape. White capes are kind of a rare thing from my experience, so just getting a white cape is pretty cool. You can use this on your own custom figs. And then on the back, if I can get the cape to flip upwards, uh, we just have this nice little uh, backplate print there. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. This is the same stuff you see on most First Order troops. Um, his gun is the standard for all troopers, and then his helmet underneath has uh, the generic face print with the cheeks. It's kind of, I think it's the Lex Luthor, actually, that's just being recycled underneath. Pretty good, pretty good. And then our final figure for today is this astromech droid, uh, printed in this cyan color. It actually looks a lot uh, more vibrant in real life. It's not a great color for a droid, but I actually really like its design. I always like astromechs. I like getting ones that aren't just R2-D2. So getting an obscure astromech droid. Actually, this one's not even a named astromech. This is just a generic background astromech. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's nice getting different colored versions of the R2-D2 parts and this custom head here, which is not the same as R2's head. It's less round. Pretty good figure, pretty good figure. But I know what you're all here for. I know what you all want to see. And yes, we do have it right here. Let me get my hand underneath it so I can lift it up. 
This is the Resistance Y-Wing Starfighter, and look how substantial this is. Look how hefty it is. Uh, this is a cheap set on Amazon right now. It's going for less than retail, and that's good for a 2019 set. And having a big, hefty model like this is obviously always a joy. So, what do we got here with this one? This one's got a lot of stuff going on. I kind of want to breeze through it here without focusing too much on any one thing, without overlooking any of the cool stuff. First things first, uh, we have this right here, where you can load these little torpedoes. Obviously, a Y-Wing is a bombing ship. It is meant for bombing runs and like heavy artillery. So we have this little gear on the back here. I don't know if you can see it too well. I'm going to have trouble like turning the gear and lifting this, but if you turn the gear, it's not a very good show of the, the feature, but it drops three of these little torpedoes. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And if you want to load them back up, you just turn the crank and load them back in. And uh, don't turn it too much because it will will drop one. I just shot one of the missiles as well by accident. I guess I've shown you the missile launcher by accident. I wasn't actually going to show this, so that's good. Um, there are missile launchers on this. The, the standard ones we see in all these Star Wars sets. You push down on the missile on the back right here, and uh, it launches. These things launch with a lot of force. You could actually hurt somebody with these. Don't do that. Don't hurt somebody with missiles, please. That's not a good thing to do. I don't want to be liable when somebody does that. Uh, we also have this little turret here. It doesn't shoot anything, doesn't really do much of anything, but it is a nice little model of a turret. does not really rotate too easily, but it is meant to rotate. There's, meant to, there's implied to be a character inside of here shooting it at people. Looks pretty good. It comes off real easy, which I don't like, but it looks pretty good. We also have these two little shooters on the front here, obviously based on the film. And then we have these nice two... Uh, rocket, not rocket, what's the word for these? The fuel tank things, uh, the thrusters. They look good as always. I've always really liked the design of Y-Wing thrusters. I'm always really interested to see how they're translated into Lego. So, you know, another example of it. That's what I see this as, and I really like how they've done this. I really like what they've done with the, uh, the wireframe part of it. I really like what they've done with everything here. I also really like that... You don't have to buy a UCS set to get this level of detail on, like, grates and, like, electronics on the top of the ship. This used to be UCS Star Destroyer quality, and now it's in a standard Y-Wing set. Isn't that exciting to some of you? Like, this is cool. This is really cool of them. I'm actually going to dump this uh, torpedo out, by the way, so I can do something in, this, in the future. Um, it's really well done. I like how this looks. I really enjoy stuff like this in LEGO. And this is another example of good quality. This set does have stickers. These stickers are kind of scary to put on, but they actually go on pretty easy. Uh, we also have stickers up on the front here, which, as you can see, these could be really easy to mess up. So uh, I would build this set slowly and carefully. That is my advice. The cockpit does not have a sticker. Um, it just opens right up. And then uh, you can put Zori in there. You cannot fit Poe Dameron in there without taking off his little satchel. I'm going to see if I can actually fit her in with the guns. Because I don't really feel like putting them someplace new. She has to kind of hold... Well, actually, no, she doesn't. Actually, um, I think she might actually be able to face them outwards even. As long as they're not uh, being compressed into the thing there. I think we might actually be good to go. Let's try it. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know why it's not closing. I don't know what's causing that, but it, it might just be the fact that Z Zori is really, really large in this set. There we go. Yeah, you can close it with her guns in there. It actually worked pretty well. I, I thought it wouldn't, but it's not perfect. Obviously, the cockpit is not fully closed around them, but I don't think it's the gun's fault. I think just the cockpit is not a perfect design for a cockpit. <laughs> um, and then the final feature on this is if you flip it upside down, we're going to lose a torpedo in the process. Um, we do have three little landing gear, and they do go down. So if you're playing with this like a toy, they go down real easy, and there you go. Now you're ready for flight. You're set. You want to land, just pop them back out, 
and you're good to go. You don't have to flip it upside down every time. Obviously, that's going to be a pain when you have two hands. It's a lot easier just to reach underneath and do that. I don't have two hands, so I have to flip it every time. Sorry about that. I'm going to go put the torpedoes back in there, reload those. The final feature is, of course, we have the standard astromech slot. Uh, just stick him in there. There you go. Fits right in. Fits like a charm. I remember back in the day, you used to just put the head of them on it as a brick. This is a lot nicer. This is a lot more movie accurate. And now you feel like you got a, a fully, you know, built ship. And it's, you know, it's got all the things you'd need from a uh, Y-Wing. And it's very detailed and very nice and very well built. I'm going to say it one more time and then I'm going to end this review. Everybody look into this set. It's very cheap on Amazon right now. Consider picking this one up. It's very well done. Um... And, uh, overall, I think it is worth investing in. Overall, it's a good set. I think you should buy it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, remember, you can click the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I read all of your comments. And you can join the Discord server to discuss Sleepy Bricks and Lego with a bunch of other fans. We have a bunch of people in that server. Always happy to grow it. Always happy to grow the community around the channel. Uh, we're always looking for growth in any form with this channel, so your support means a lot to me. I'm going to go ahead and get this ship set up for display in my room and call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next Sleepy Bricks review. Thank you so much for watching.